Hi Jay Dolls and I'm back with another video. Before I get into this video make sure you like, comment, subscribe and ring that bell because we are on the road <laughs> to 2,000 subscribers so don't play with us because we ain't never been one of them. And it's free 99 to subscribe so if you ain't subscribing you a hater and take that with your mama because why she raised you like that? <laughs> Let me stop lying. But anyways y'all today I'm actually coming up today I'm actually coming with a 17 month post op vsg video y'all y'all tell me to keep doing these updates and y'all like the updates so i'm gonna keep doing them because i really don't feel like a lot of people do them past a year and now that i am a year and almost a half and one more month it's like it's nice to see people that actually been out of surgery for over a year and still maintaining their weight so i'm just coming back to always stay accountable and also give you guys hope for people that are thinking about having this weight loss surgery y'all and if you don't know what vsg is it is vertical sleeve gastrectomy which is a weight loss surgery um and it's where they cut your stomach into the size of a banana to restrict how much you can eat uh so this helps with weight loss so you guys i am 17 months post-op it, it doesn't seem like it it doesn't seem like it don't seem like it was just yesterday either it seemed like it's been longer it seems like it's been two years or something y'all <laughs> and i think because life starts to get a little bit more normal i guess uh but y'all just for the people that are new here um my starting weight was 326 pounds not when i had surgery that was my highest weight y'all my highest weight was 326 pounds by the time i had surgery it was 280 pounds i'm gonna put a before picture of my highest weight here so you guys can see it but yes y'all so my highest was 326 pounds my weight before surgery was 280 pounds y'all so i did lose about almost 50 pounds before i had weight loss surgery and then now my current weight is 167 pounds y'all so i'm maintaining so i do fluctuate from about 167 to 170. i never get higher than 170 uh, and this is very normal when you do have a weight loss surgery that your body does fluctuate between five pounds if you do go over five pounds then that's when you need to be more concerned like am i really gaining weight um uh, and what things can i adjust so i have been maintaining y'all i've never went outside of my maintaining i haven't even hit five pounds like over my lowest weight so i'm doing really really good y'all um and i'm going to show you guys a current picture of me as well as at 167 pounds so y'all um what's new for me that i really want to talk about i, I actually want to talk about kind of the mental aspect of this thing and having weight loss surgery because a lot of people go into it if you're new and you never had it you want to have surgery a lot of people go into it thinking it's going to like change their behaviors um and merely it's just changing the size of your stomach and it's up to you to change your behaviors you you can't really go into this thinking that it's going to stop you from eating certain foods because it will not uh a lot of people will try to scare you with this dumping syndrome but when you have the sleeve or weight loss surgery that's bsg you don't get a lot of dumping it is honestly i've had cake i've had cupcakes i've had cookie or whatever don't feel a thing i don't feel like i'm so sick i'm gonna like sh poop my head off like i never had that experience so um more people do get it with bypass that i've heard but like you don't get as averse to food when you have the sleeve so it's really about your discipline over anything so that's one thing i really do focus on is my discipline just having a cheat meal instead of a cheat day instead of having several cheat days right or eating out every single day or multiple times in a week and stuff like that making sure that i keep it to i'm gonna have my cheat meal one day in the week and let's be honest when you have the surgery when you have your cheat meal for that day of the week you might have a little leftovers for the next couple days and it's always about portion because yes this tool helps you portion your food and makes you like full um faster than a normal person right but you can get hungry again in the next few hours and you can keep revisiting food so you definitely have to have discipline my rule for myself is like let's say if i go out to eat um that's my cheat meal i would eat a small portion of it like on a small plate like i would eat my normal food like i treat it like a normal like dinner or lunch or whatever i'm having it for um and then i'll save for the next day i don't keep eating it all day like I don't keep eating it from as breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like 
because I know how high calorie uh, out to eat foods are versus like foods at home and I like to keep a well balanced diet so I want to make sure I'm getting fruit in during the day I'm getting veggies during the day I'm getting in carbs during the day I'm getting in my protein during the day so I don't want to consume too much junk in one day if that makes any sense but that's how my brain works and that's how I like to do it so just knowing during this path that it is all self-control um the tool does help you get full like I say during that time but you can't eat more times in a day and some people do not prepare people for that and that's where a lot of people steer wrong and gain weight because they think oh well when I go try to eat these chips I'm gonna want to throw up or if I try to go eat uh, these donuts, I'm going to want to like uh, have diarrhea. Like, no, that's not the case. Uh, and that's how people gain their weight back. Not because their stomach is stretching way back to the big stomach that they had before. It's because they're eating foods that I've said this in so many things that slide through just like cookies, donuts, cake. You can eat that when you're full. Like, even if you're stuffed, you can go eat a piece of cake. Because it turns into straight sugar, like it dissolves, right? So uh, this is what people are doing, eating chips and stuff. So you have to really build your relationship with food back again and have discipline, y'all. So I am a certified weight loss coach as well, y'all. So if you want to book with me, you can do a free consultation call, y'all. And it's linked right in my description box. Uh, and it won't be free for long. So if you do want to get that consultation call with me, make sure you go ahead and book. I teach people how to maintain their weight. So even if you have weight loss surgery, I can help you if you've been gaining weight, how to lose that weight. If you're trying, you're struggling with maintaining, I can help with that. Uh, if you never had weight loss surgery, I have clients that have never had weight loss surgery and they're just using, losing weight naturally. I know how to help them as well because I am certified in weight loss. So anyways, y'all. With all that being said, being prepared for the emotion. So what what I what my theory is a lot of people gain weight back because they end up having an aversion in their life, something something happening where it causes an emotional effect on them and then they start going to their old habits. So y'all, this last couple weeks have been whooping my you know, you can go watch my other videos if you don't watch my other videos. It's about my nine to five, it's about like how life just been life in. And um when those moments happen, when life be life and you're feeling down or you're feeling like sad and all those type of things, for me personally, I had to form new habits. So and when I'm in those funks, I rather go work out if I can work out. If I'm not working out, I rather journal. I rather go read a book. I rather just let myself cry. I rather watch YouTube videos of people going through the same thing. Like we can actually like debrief and think about things. Like the old me would be like, let me sit in front of the TV and just eat all of this food. Let me eat my whole bowl of Chipotle. Then let me eat a whole three. Nah, I'm tr I'm capping. But let me go eat a whole two bowls of ice cream because I got to go back for seconds. Okay. Let me make sure like. I am full and satisfied and maybe I might have a little bit of chips or something while I watch the movie like yes that was my way to handle my emotions was to be comfortable by eating when I would eat I would physically feel calm like I'm calming down so now I had to find other ways when I'm feeling anxious what do I do um, that's why I feel like weight loss is way more of a mental thing than it is a physical thing and so just be prepared for this like this is an amazing tool I'm so happy like it changed my life it changed my mindset and really the fast is what changed my mindset more than anything when I had to do the liquid diet I think I was able to connect with God more and even here we have to understand we're a part of God as we're a part of God as well I was able to hear my inner voice more I was so clouded with like fog uh brain fog from the food i was eating because i was eating terrible food that i didn't even take time to listen to myself like what was i even thinking what was i feeling so um once i like it's a whole spiritual thing so when people say how do you how do you keep maintaining like how do you not go back to your old ways and this is hard and this is hard and um you have to really just really reflect with yourself like why is these things so important to me so i had to realize like why is this food so important like why is this fast food so important why is this junk food so important to me um uh, and then finding of substitutes the things that i actually really like stop trying to just let things go and find substitutes we are really in a new generation where like they make a bunch of different options y'all and even if it's processed y'all can make excuses like oh this is processed protein this is processed this but y'all eating hot cheetos that got dye and other processed chemicals in it 
but this can be a little bit healthier for you and a little bit more low calorie for you and a little bit less sugar but you're you're concerned about that but you're up here eating you're up here drinking a mountain dew that has 70 grams of sugar and it has dye in it from coloring like I, that's what i don't I don't get like we have to be real with ourselves once you're real with yourself and understand why you had this y'all I vowed to myself first of all when I first had this surgery I kept saying I'm gonna be skinny I'm gonna be skinny I'm gonna be skinny like I was manifesting I was gonna be skinny and um <clears throat> I'm pretty small like not to like maybe a two pick like maybe not to somebody that's really really small but from somebody that used to be 326 pounds I got down to 167 pounds in a way like I'm portioned I'm pretty small, like, for someone that used to be oh, morbidly obese, you know? So, anyways, like, I manifested it, but I didn't really know what that meant. Uh, but I started shifting my mind. I started going to therapy. I started reading self-help books. I started journaling. I started to understand myself. What got me fat in the first place? We're not just fat because our metabolism slow let's be real with ourselves we're fat because of emotional trauma a lot of us are for emotional trauma issues and um yes we do have a slower metabolism than somebody that can just go pick out eat whatever they want and just stay a small size but we have to be real of why why so i had to find my why i had to work through it and i had to promise myself i would never be big again and the reason why i promised myself i would never be big again is because i love my life as a smaller person, okay? I like, I love this little life. This little life, okay? I think I love this little life because, and it's not just aesthetics. It's because I feel better, I feel happier. I feel lighter, I can run up the stairs, I can just run in general, I can lift weights, I can just do things and not be out of breath. I can do things and not feel tired and my back is killing me. my feet are having sharp pains and I'm feeling dizzy and I feel like I'm a nauseous because of my blood pressure is too high. I feel alive again. Do y'all not understand like when I was big, I did not feel alive and I didn't know that until I literally fast. And something's called me to do another fast and not for weight loss reasons, y'all. I don't really need to lose weight. I'm trying to maintain. If I do lose the weight, sure. Um, but I'm doing the fasting to really connect with God and also connect with myself. Y'all, I'm not a religious person. If y'all go see my stuff, I'm a spiritual person. I am a spiritual queen, okay? I'm not a Christian or nothing like that. Um, and I don't have nothing against them. But I do believe in God and I'm a spiritual person. And I do feel like, uh, for me, I want to connect more with God. I want to connect more with my inner self. Get more aligned. So I'm trying to pick the right days. But I want to do it for two days. So I'll probably just do like a protein shake stuff. So I don't feel like I'm going to faint or something. Um, but it's not me doing a reset. A lot of girls do this as a reset to lose weight. I don't believe in that reset stuff. It's for me, it's a we for me, I'm doing it for like a rewire of the brain, like for me to really feel connected, for me to hear my inner thoughts, for me to like slow down the food noise of always feeling like, oh, I need to eat, I need to eat, I need to eat. Like, I eat a lot in a day. I eat most several times a day, just smaller, healthier meals. And I find things that I genuinely really love, y'all. Like, I like the food I eat. People might be like, oh, like, and before y'all used to be so closed off, y'all. I used to be like, oh, why they eating that? Oh, that look nasty. Oh, I don't ever want to eat no onions. Oh, I ain't never want to eat no guac. Now I be eating so I'm like, this is good. I was tripping. This is good. Um, because I was so closed-minded. When I opened up my mind, when I opened up my third eye, once I started to realize who the heck I even was and that my body was not a product of me, it was a product of things that I went through, it really changed my mind. Like, I'm not going back there. Um, and until you acknowledge your why, why you're big, you're never going to be able to maintain. Um, and that's why I always start with emotional things. Even when I do my weight loss coaching, it's like, we have to start seeing our whys, like why we big, why can't we tell ourselves no, why don't we have discipline, why don't we have structure, why don't we have routine, why don't we have, like why Why are we living in this world where we don't feel like we are worthy of things, we, we got to get to the why, we got to get to the why, solve the why before we get to the results, so anyway y'all, with my journey y'all, I've been doing really good when with me I focus on food because I do feel like it is hard to always focus on both. You can focus on both, y'all, because I do work out. I promise myself to not like miss a day. I mean, 
to not miss a week in the gym at all um only time i miss a week in the gym is if i'm going on vacation so for me i always just keep that to my like keep that promise to myself even if i only get to the gym once that week if i get to the gym twice that week if i get to the gym three times that week i have to get to the gym i have to get moving i gotta get to working out um but now y'all I'm, I'm actually trying to really get more routine in my daily basis because i need structure i need extreme routine daily because of like how much stuff i'm trying to carry on with content in my video uh, content in my nine to five now that i'm getting paid from content this is also like a job uh it's a hobby because i love it but it is also a job i have to have routine and also don't need to lose sight of my body and my health so what I'm doing now is I actually wrote a daily routine on my refrigerator of what time I need to wake up every day. And I need to wake up at 5 a.m. every day, which my alarm already goes off at 5 a.m. I just got to actually get to the gym. So I want to wake up at 5 a.m., get ready for the gym, go work out, take Chanel out, get ready for work, shower, all that stuff, get ready for work. And then get in the structure of editing a video every night or so. Um, so I'm making a routine so I can start going to the gym Monday through Friday. No excuse. Even if I'm tired, even if I got four hours of sleep, get up, go to the gym. So that's what I'm trying to do is just have strict, um, routine because when I go to the gym, I just feel better. It's not, I'm trying to lose weight. It's just like, I feel better going to the gym. And also I feel like my body is more toned when I go to the gym. And so I want to keep structure. I don't want to, anytime I feel like I'm falling off of something, I need to get back up. Like consistency is not doing the same thing the same way the same amount of times it is always doing it and never giving up so i always make sure with my food i have my strict routine already that i only have one cheat meal for the week um and that's what i do if i either want a meal or if i want a dessert or if i want something that's really outside my diet if it's something small like today i might go get some boba tea we'll see but if it's like a meal from Chipotle because y'all just got some Chipotle uh, yesterday. It's going to be in my What I Eat in a Day Cheat Meal Edition um, video. That will be up before this video is up. So if you haven't seen it, I'll put it at the end of this video. But anyhow, y'all, with that, I hadn't had Chipotle in months, y'all. I used to be addicted to Chipotle years ago before I had surgery. Uh, I hadn't had Chipotle in probably four months. Um, because every time I keep revisioning, revisiting the food, I don't like it. Um, so this Chipotle time, it's cool. I'm actually probably going to have some leftovers today. Like, but it's nothing that like fancies my, like it doesn't make me feel like, oh my gosh, I need this. It's so good. Like I thoroughly feel like my food tastes better than the food that's out here. And I think that happens when you detox yourself from this fast food because they're putting literally chemicals in here to make you addicted to the food and sugar to make you addicted to the food. The food is not actually good at all. Most of the food, like, is not good. And I know good food, y'all. I can go to a place now and be like, okay, this is good. Like, pizza-wise, I would say, like, because that's one of my foods that I still feel like, okay, it's a favorite food. And usually if I have a cheat meal, I get pizza, to be honest, because that's something I like. But um, I would say good pizza place for me is Blaze Pizza. Blaze Pizza is good. Punch Pizza is good. I do not think Domino's Pizza is good. I think it's nasty. I think Papa John's Pizza is not. I don't think Papa John's Pizza is that good anymore either. It's decent, but not something I would choose. Uh, I don't think any of those chain places. I like Flatberry Fire Pizzas. Like, I think even the pizza at Cheesecake Factory is pretty decent. The te the pizza at um. I'm just naming all these places, but like I think restaurant pizzas that are on flatbread, Firestone pizzas are good. When you go to those box chain places, them pizzas be tasting like garbage. To be honest, like it's not something any, it's not something to crave, right? So I try to go for more high, high quality. This week I got Chipotle because it was just like I'm on a budget and I don't want to be up. Uh, when I go to a restaurant, a restaurant, I hate to see me coming, baby, because I'm going to order exactly what I want, and I'm going to have a drink. Yes, I have a drink. Yes, I eat carbs. I do have low-carb diet, but I eat carbs. I do drink liquor. It's y'all doing stuff y'all can't maintain. You have to do stuff you can maintain. That's why I can maintain my body, because I've been doing this since six months out. <laughs> but if you're doing stuff for six months... And then once you hit a year, you start doing the total opposite. Your body is going to be confused and gaining weight and storing fat. 
my body's been eating carbs since six months out. I just don't eat a lot of carbs and I try to eat more complex carbs, right? But um, a lot of y'all just didn't eat carbs at all for a year and then y'all reintroduce them and wonder why your body acting weird. Um, but that's a whole nother story. But yeah, y'all, I think that's the only major thing is me trying to get more routine with my workout. Um, yeah, y'all let me know in the comments too if y'all want more cheat day videos too, like, or cheat meal, because I don't have a cheat day. But if y'all want more cheat meal videos, because I know we can be in a world, especially with VSG and just weight loss in general, where everyone seems perfect. Now, I will tell you a lot of times I do eat pretty strictly and it's not because... It's because I thoroughly like these foods and I like to have nutrient dense foods and nourishing foods in my body. And it's actually exciting for me. It's not because, oh my God, I just want to starve myself or something. Like, no, like it's never that serious. It's not because like I, I want to restrict myself. It's because I genuinely like the foods that I'm making. I make healthy foods that I like that taste good. But also, um, I do have a cheat meal every week, every single week. And I try to make it experience. I try to actually go sit at a restaurant and have quality food because I feel like why eat junk food? Like why eat fast food? Like fast food tastes like crap. Like the only fast food place I like is Chick-fil-A. Everywhere else it just don't taste good. Let's be honest y'all. Even Chipotle I keep trying to revisit it and my love for it and it's just not coming back. Because I tried this barbecue brisket. Y'all watch the video for that. It, it's not giving what TikTok is saying. It's giving. Like these TikTokers. Y'all y'all gotta understand this. And do y'all y'all see that most of the people that's really flourishing are like mukbangers and um, food reviewers. Which I like watching their content because a lot of that stuff I can't eat. So I watch it so, they, so I can see them enjoying it. Or I'm like okay that's my cheat meal for next week or something. You know what I mean? But it's like they are this this world if i get to an awoke part of that of like all this indulging in foods that are not good for your body that's essentially killing you um a lot of health things but honestly i'm super happy i'm still happy with my weight loss surgery i've been amazing y'all um i haven't been experiencing no issues I have not been gaining weight. I'm doing good. I've been sticking to how I eat. Um, I don't film a lot of what I eat in the days because I eat a lot of the same stuff. I love eating yogurt for breakfast every day. I'm a woman of repetition. Like I used to love cereal when I was a kid and I could eat cereal every single day. This is nothing different. I used to eat ice cream every single day. This is nothing different. So I just eat yes, so Greek yogurt ice cream instead. I, this is like... So I try to film, but I'm, I also did a cooking video. Y'all can go see that. The ground turkey nachos that I made, the high protein, low carbs. Actually, people watched it. It was not doing well at first, and then randomly people just start watching it. So I'm like, okay, period. Y'all might like the cooking videos. So I'm going to try to film. Don't hold it against me, but I'm trying to, tonight I'm supposed to, no, tomorrow. Tomorrow I am going to be making ground turkey chili. Cause I don't eat a lot of beef. I eat it when I have my cheat meal, but it's not something I buy in my household on a regular. So, anyways, y'all, I'm gonna make some ground turkey chili because it is getting more fallish here in Minnesota. So that probably be up after this video. So just make sure you subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions or if you're interested in weight loss surgery or VSG. I have a lot of tools and information on this page from the day that I got before I went to surgery, my whole liquid diet phase, to the day I went to surgery in the surgery vlog, like to after surgery to when i had a blood clot to after that like i document my whole experience y'all and now i am 17 months post-op 17 months post uh yeah and i'm still thinking about getting skin removal for my stomach area which my insurance might actually cover um but um that's a lot of follow-up i need to do with that and i'm moving shortly to texas so I don't know when I would get that probably past two years because my two years is in May and I'm gonna be moving before May so it's like I might not have cosmetics until the end of next year if I decide to do it so let me know if you have any questions I'll see and let me know if y'all be interested in a and a for VSG because I don't know what questions y'all really be having for real for real maybe I'll try to put it in the community tab I do get some interaction in the community tab but 
not as much as I would think. But I might just throw one in the community tab and then you guys can just ask me your questions and I can do a Q&A video for weight loss surgery. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!